in an interview with MSNBC's Cassie Hunt, Sen. Kamala Harris, DCA, revealed the horrors she saw at the detention facility that she visited in Southern California. President Donald Trump's administration as well as the Department of Homeland Security has said that the children have been able to call their parents and speak with them. During Melania Trump's visit to McAllen, Texas, the First Lady was told that the children were allowed to speak to their parent or family member twice a week. However, it was only if they could prove that the person they were calling was a guardian with documentation. Harris told MSNBC that the children are being charged for such phone calls at the California facility she visited. Each child must pay 85 cents per minute when they use the phone. When Harris brought up some of the women that were seeking asylum from violence, Hunt noted that the Trump administration has decided to change the policy that individuals can seek asylum if they are fleeing domestic violence or gang violence. They have rolled back the protections that existed for pregnant women and there are pregnant women in that prison right now, Harris said of the facility. And there are pregnant women that have had miscarriages since they've been here, not to mention what they did in terms of resending DACA. There's a systematic and clear constellation in policy perspective from this administration as it relates to women and children and families. Trump was supported heavily by the anti-choice and white evangelical Christian communities. At the so-called March for Life in January, Trump celebrated those who've dedicated their lives to protecting a fetus. The March for Life is a movement born out of love. You love your families, you love your neighbors, you love our nation and you love every child born and unborn because you believe every life is sacred, that every child is a precious gift from God, he said. In a speech to the march in 2017, Vice President Mike Pence proclaimed, My friends, life is winning in America. It's unclear how many women have lost their pregnancies while in detention facilities. At least one emergency room doctor volunteered to help with medical services, but was turned away for being too qualified.